Hey, welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC M Comics video. And today, we're going to be checking out one of the newish Mafex Metacom figures. I know, everyone was right. This is pretty darn cool. This is their new Nightfall Batman. Straight from the 90s, with all his 90s artwork all over the box. That's what I know loves and remembers from the old comic books. Nice photos of the figure on the back side, and it shows you everything the figure comes with and does. He's got power accessories. Awesome. I'm stoked. Here's the Medicom toy user support if you need that. Email and a bunch of jibber-jabber right here as well. And if you stay long enough, because I know that's an incentive, I'll tell you how you can go on Entertainment Earth and not only get 10% off with my links, but also maybe some free shippings to boot. So... This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new-ish, the Medicom Mafex figure straight from the 90s, the Nightfall Batman. And while I got all you Gothamites here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. We talk a lot about DC Comics most recently, right? McFarlane and Mafex, all that jazz. So, here's everything out of the packaging. You get a number of different accessories, you get a figure, and you get a stand. And speaking of which, I'm not 100% sold on Mafex stands. Oftentimes, like, this one is a bit tighter. I know you can screw them in. I don't really see how that Works all the time. You got a big lever here and all that jazz. It's okay. I'll show you how it works because we get a bevy of power effects, right? Like these batarangs that can shoot out of his gauntlets. Those are cool. You get Jean Paul Valley's unmasked Nightfall Batman head. I used to call him Jean Paul Valley until everybody on the internet told me I was wrong, but I really like the line work on his forehead. Very comic book accurate. The blonde hair, the eyes, everything's applied nicely so well done on the head portraits and then you have like my favorite thing ever when talking about mafex figures you get the hand trees you got fisted hands you got cape holding hands that's what those are for so those are nice nice paint overall silver blue you got these just kill the villains hands right so those are cool outstretched gauntlets very nicely done then you have a bit of a grapnel launch kind of thing. It's on a bendy wire. You have one piece that's bendy right there. The other end is the actual grapnel. You can straighten it out. You can make it all wibble wobbly. You can do whatever you want. It just simply fits into his gauntlet. And of course, along with the batarangs, I'll show you how that works. Now with Asriel, Batman, Nightfall Batman, whatever you want to call him, I just call him Nightfall Batman. This is superb. Three times the charm when looking at Mafex figures. We looked at the Dark Knight Returns. That was, yeah, that was okay. Then we looked at the new Batman Adventures Batman. Eh. But this one, along with all his spiky doodads every which way, you need to be really careful when you move him around and don't break him. He's awesome. I really love this figure, and I would just save you time right now. I highly recommend him if you can get a hold of him. He does have these spiky gauntlets every which way. There's a lot of sharp pieces on this guy. But the paint is really nicely done. He's very much the source material come to life with all his paint and the colors and the reflective shiny paint. That's an extra standout right there. The legs, the articulation, you get it. He's even got all the little pouches around his legs and around his waist. It's honestly just very cool right down to the legs, especially with... His sharper pieces right here that all sticking out. But I will tell you honestly, just be really easy when you're posing them out. You don't want to snap anything off. He's got toe articulation. He's got articulation up the yin-yang along with a really nice cape. And that's one thing that I pointed out with the Dark Knight Returns Batman. That was like a really odd paper taffeta cape, which I did not like. Especially for the price point here. This is $100. So just keep that in mind. But it has an awesome cloth cape. It's got the bendy wire inside. The cape is huge. This is it's expensive, but at least it feels that it looks expensive. We'll just say that. And later in the vid, I will show you a comparison with McFarlane Toys Nightfall Batman as well, so you can see the differences between prices and what you get. Yada, yada. The yellows are good. The blues are good. I'm sold. It's solid. I love the look of this guy. 
But oh wait, yeah, there's articulation to talk about. Now, in pure Mafex fashion, he articulates very well. He's pinless. He doesn't have too much of that excess robotic looking articulation points, especially in the arms. Like for a character like Nightfall Batman, it works. Plenty in the head, plenty in the shoulders. You get the arms going all the way up. The shoulder part of the cape will kind of sort of hinder it. He's got bicep. He's got double jointed elbows. And it only go up so far because of the huge gauntlets and he'll spit at the wrists and everything else. And also, which is a nice thing, the hands don't just pop off like some of the other Mafex I've had before. Nice upper diaphragm, nice waist. Be careful of the belt. Nothing is going to come off. It works with you, but it's attached in the back. You don't want to stretch it too far. The legs will go out, they'll drop down, you got the knees double jointed, they go in about that much, you have the toes and the feet and everything else to really pose this guy out. And as I quickly learned with Mafex, these figures are definitely for photography. They're definitely for those that want a really cool looking figure complete with all the bat gadgets that really do bring Nightfall Batman to life. Like this grapnel right here. I wouldn't say it's done the absolute best way, being that it's just a simple bendy wire with a hook attached to it, but I do appreciate the way it fits into his gauntlets. You can use it on either hand. I really like the spray of batarangs that you put at the top part of the gauntlets. Again, straight from the old 90s comic books, posing out the cape, utilizing the stand. It's awesome. The fact that you get hands that can hold the cape, that... In and of itself, just that pose, I go, yeah, that's what I want to see. It's utilizing the figure, bringing these things to life on your shelf. And yes, Mafex has done it in spades. And at the end of the day, when you're all tired from battling criminals while Bruce Wayne's in a wheelchair, you have an unmasked Jean-Paul Valley, which you can utilize the hands from the hand trees, those oh-so-sweet hand trees, and he can hold the helmet. And that's friggin' awesome. Now, to show you a comparison between a $20 figure and the Mafex $100 figure. This is gonna be one of those times where I'm gonna tell you the McFarlane one was nice at 20 bucks. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. It is lacking a lot of paint, but this Mafex one shows you the time and energy and everything else put into it. Is it $100? Yeah, that's the price for Mafex, unfortunately. But the $20 one is just as fine, but it's missing all those bat gadgets and the fun you can have, whereas the Mafex one goes, Here's some solid paint. Here's an articulated cape. Here's all this cool stuff that we threw in. We're going to be more expensive, but at the end of the day, it definitely might be worth it. And then to see just some scalature between some McFarlane toys, the Mafex figures are definitely not going to go. This Bane is entirely too big for this version of Nightfall Batwin, Catwoman included. It's just not gonna go any way shape or form you can kind of fudge it for photography and whatnot have one in the foreground one in the background so that can kind of work but catwoman bane nah it's not gonna happen if you wanted to utilize larger characters that don't really have a set size this man bat can kind of fill in see how i'm kind of moving it back and forth in your peripheral this batman is very teeny tiny compared to man bat but these two do look good together when posed out. And just to kind of show you some other Batmans in my collection that have a cloth cape, Mezco to McFarlane, this Mafex, unfortunately, is only going to fit with other Mafex figures. Whether or not I will get more figures from this 90s line remains to be seen. I am 100% sold on this guy, but you get the idea as far as scalature goes. Now, for those of you who have made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. I'm going to do a little spiel here to talk about old Entertainment Earth. Now, if you have never used them before, they have a code, free ship 59 They've kind of upped it. It used to be $39 for free shipping. They've upped it recently. So you get free shipping on all orders over $59. Plus, if you use my vanity code link, which I'll put down in the description below, you will get 10% off anything you order from Entertainment Earth as long as it's in stock. 10% does not involve anything as far as pre-orders go. Just keep that in mind. But if you were interested in some of the Mafex figures, you could use it on the Dark Knight Returns, you have the Death and Return of Superman, and I wouldn't say use it on the new Batman Adventures. Yeah, find something else. Just gonna say. However, they do have other figures coming from Terminator to Batman the Dark Knight Returns, Hush Joker, Poison Ivy, 
you get the idea. Unfortunately, right now, as of this video, as when I ordered this Nightfall Batman, he is sold out. Whether or not they'll get some more in, hopefully relatively soon. But then maybe you're more of a fan of SH Figure Arts. They do have the new Venom in stock. Maybe grab yourself some McFarlane DC Multiverse Flash movie figures that just got revealed. Or go wildly out of the box and grab yourself some Boss Fight Studios Sorazoric Warriors Wave 2. And also for your Funko peoples out there... Yeah, they got plenty of Funkos. So, thank you for sitting through my little spiel right here. Again, use code FREESHIP59 to get free shipping on all orders over 59 bucks. And then use my vanity code link down in the description below. It'll get you 10% off anything in stock. Nothing for pre-order. Sorry about that. But I highly recommend Entertainment Earth. I use it myself, and I guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Metacom toy Mafex Batman. Well, the Nightfall Batman, of course. The coolest robotic looking Jean Paul Valley Batman thus far. I love the accessories. I love the cape, the paint. Heck, I even love the articulation. Not so much a fan of the stands, I'm just going to say. But dang it all, this is a fantastic nostalgia trip back in the day to reading those comics, trying to figure out what was up with Bane, how did he defeat Batman. And then you got this murderous rage Batman for a little bit in the books, which was an awesome storyline. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now, curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Nightfall. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now I might have to get that Cyborg Superman. Just saying. Because that Mayfix one looks awesome as well. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.